What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and as you guys can see I lost a lot of weight. I lost like 11 pounds in 5 days. I don't know even know like if that is healthy or not like that much in just, just you know a short amount of time. But that doesn't really matter because I received like, some hilarious comments from people like you're gaining weight faster as I gain subscribers. As you guys can see I lost a lot of weight, I feel great, I shaved as well. But in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add like Jake Paul and this is not to use his you know his name or in the thumbnail for views and by the way guys all the effects that you guys are seeing in this video in this little intro I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that and if you want guys want to make me a part two or a part three make sure to let me know in the comments what you want to see what kind of effects so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started <laughs> Alright guys, we are in Vegas Pro 14 and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I created the intro because those are, a, you know, a few elements that Jake Paul is also using in his videos. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I edited it. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make it from scratch. So I'm gonna start off with showing you guys how I made it. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're going to drag in the clip of our intro. So we're gonna go to the folder, which is this one, and as you can see, Right here we have a lot of pictures that we're going to use throughout the video so we're going to start off with this image uh, i mean this video which is going to be the uh, intro now what i'm going to do first is i'm going to make sure that i will trim the beginning obviously when i'm getting ready so i'm going to do it like this like that i'm not going to use a fade out for this guys i'm going to make it um like slide into the screen like really fast with the sound effect on it so what we're going to do first of all to make sure that the video is looking uh, on its best we're going to right click we're going to go to properties and we're going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample now you will see a big you will see a big difference when you're unchecking this and also in gaming videos so what we're going to do now is we're going to add in some nice color correction so we're going to go to this little icon this one the, the event effects and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, choose a nice color a nice preset from this one and we're going to pick turquoise glare with letterbox it is a different one that I use in the intro but it is just to show you guys what I mean so as you can see right now I have some awesome color correction but I'm going to remove the black bars because that is a little bit uh, distracting so as you can see right now this is our video clip pounds in five days I don't know even know like if that is so that looks really great so we're going to start off with the transition so we're going to go to the transitions we're going to click on uh, slide this one and we're gonna choose a, a transition where it's going to slide from the right to the left into the screen we're gonna drag that on the beginning of the clip and as you can see this little line means the length of the transitions we're gonna make it really short and let's see how it looks what's up you guys my name is what's up you guys it's a little bit too long make it like this it, is, it has to be really quick what's up you guys my name what that looks really great so now that we have the transition and the color correction done we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, drag in a whoosh transition it's gonna be really simple you can find those on youtube i'm gonna just drag in uh, one from my sound effects pack all right guys i have a lot of uh, whooshes to uh, choose, uh, choose from let's uh, listen what they sound like I think this one sounds best. So I'm gonna just cut it and I'm gonna delete everything. You can just cut by pressing S. Then we're gonna time it on the intro. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. That sounds really great. It looks really great as well. But we are going to go ahead and lower the volume just a little bit. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Just a little more. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14. Okay, that sounds really great and that looks really great as well. Now, what we're gonna do, the next thing is we're going to make our name appear. We're gonna make uh, uh, Vegas Pro 14 appear, uh, the word tutorial, and at the bottom, the number of the tutorial. So Jake Paul also has that in his latest videos, I think. So that's why I got this, that's where I got this idea from as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna right click and we're gonna create a new video track. And I created a logo just Alex Halford in Photoshop. You can do it anywhere else. You can do it in Vegas Pro. It is just up to you. But I'm going to drag in that logo I created in Photoshop earlier, which is going to be this one. Now, we are going to make this appear on gunshots. That's also what Jake did in his video. So we're going to drag in a sound effect of a couple gunshots. All right, as you guys can hear, this is what I'm going to use. 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to time it. So what we're going to do is let's say where we, let's look where we're going to place it. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And as you guys can see, I lost. 14 tutorial and okay that sounds really great i'm gonna place it right here and we're going to make this logo appear on the gunshot so this is the sound wave of the gunshot i'm gonna place this guy right here so it appears when the gunshot happens in tutorial and in tutorial and so that looks really great. We're going to position this into the, the right top corner. So we're going to go to the motion track icon of the logo track. And we're going to resize this a little bit. And we are going to place this guy, obviously, in the right top corner. Now that we've done that, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger though. Like this. That looks really great. We're going to go and move on to the next image. Which is going to be Vegas Pro. And that's going to appear on the second gunshot. So create a new video track. I'm going to drag in Vegas Pro. As you can see right here, this is the actual uh, logo. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to make it the exact same length as my name is. Which is going to be like this. Now... We're going to go ahead and time it on the second gunshot. That looks really great. And then what we're going to go ahead is going to do the third one, which is going to be tutorial. Go drag that in as well. Okay, now that we have the word tutorial in it, go to motion track again and just go ahead and place it under the word Vegas Pro 14 like this. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit bigger than I uh, did in the intro. So I'm going to make an, uh, so I'm going to make the, uh, the number 223 appear in the left corner. So we're going to time it on the gunshots. In tutorial, and as you guys can see, I lost in tutorial, and as you guys can see, that looks really great. And as you guys can hear the last gunshot, this one, you guys can see, you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and create the last new video track. I'm going to drag in the number of the tutorial. Which is going to be this one, 223. So I'm going to time it on the last gunshot. So I'm going to go to the audio wave and I'm going to time it right here. Then I'm going to go ahead to the motion track icon and I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And I'm going to place it in the left corner. So now that it looks really amazing, this is what we've come to create so far. What's up, guys? My name What's up, guys? What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And as you guys can see, I lost a lot of weight. I lost like 11 pounds. Okay, so that looks really great. But we're gonna also make this fade out. So we're gonna, when I finish, say I lost 11 pounds. 11 pounds. I'm gonna make it right here. I'm gonna make them fade out. So I'm gonna cut them all into the same length. As you can see, boom. We're gonna delete all the, we're gonna delete all the access parts, and we're gonna create a fade out that's going to be as long as the other. Uh, the clips so we're gonna add in the fade outs to all the clips of the text and then we're going to move on to the next chapter of this video okay so now that we have this one behind us we're gonna go ahead and move on to the instagram tag i just went in photoshop and i just created an instagram tag with my name on it and we're gonna make that zoom in move along with the camera and zoom out so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new video track we're gonna create a lot of video tracks in this project and we're gonna drag in that instagram tag all right folks as you can see here it is and we're going to make this appear on my shirt a little bit smaller as well and we're gonna make this move with the camera. Now you're wondering how to do that. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we are going to make this zoom in. So we're gonna go to the event pan crop, this one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this icon really, really small. We're gonna place it and we're gonna make it as small as as small that you cannot barely see it. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new keyframe right here. Just move your cursor one forward. Then we're going to click on restore and I am going to go ahead, click on sync cursor so that it is synchronized. And then as you can see, this is how it looks. Days, I don't know even days, I don't know days, I don't know. It's zooming in really fast. Now that we, now that we have that, we're gonna make this move with the camera. So like I said, Make sure that sync cursor is checked and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, move with the, uh, the shirt. So let's say that my that I'm going to film and that my shirt is going uh, to the top. I'm going to also make sure that my Instagram tag is centered. So we're going to move up a key few keyframes, make sure that, you know, that the tag is always centered in my shirt so that it will 
uh, make sure that it moves, obviously. So we're gonna just keep doing that, just move up a couple of frames, and then you can also make sure that it will be in the middle of my, you know, in this black part of my shirt, of my polo. So I'm gonna move up a few frames, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it's done. I'm gonna speed up the process, or we're gonna shut off the cameras, we're gonna add them in some music, and then you guys will see how I did it. So I will catch you guys when this is done. Just go ahead and move up a few keyframes, and just keep placing the Instagram tag on your t-shirt. It's not really that uh, complicated, it's pretty straightforward, so I'll speed up this process. Okay guys, now I got done and what I'm going to do is for the last keyframe, I'm going to make sure that this one will also zoom out. So I'm gonna to go to the very end and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just zoom this back out. So let's see how it looks. Just, just you know, a short amount of time. Okay, that looks really awesome. So as you can see, this is what we've come to create with the keyframes. Five days, I don't know if five days, I don't know if Five days. I don't know even know like if that is healthy or not like that much in just just you know a short amount of time So that was really amazing guys, but we're gonna also make this appear with a sound effect So we're gonna use a bubble sound effect. I'm gonna drag that in as well So this is just a really simple a bubble sound effect and we're gonna make the volume real loud because it's really soft So this is how it looks in five days. I don't know if in five days. I don't know if in five days, I don't know even know like if that is healthy or not like that much. And we're gonna also make the bubble sound effect appear when we are zooming out with the zoom tag, with the Instagram tag. Just you know, a short amount of time. Just you know, a short amount of time. But just you know, a short amount of time. So that looks really amazing, guys. So this is basically how I created the intro uh, in terms of the logos, as you can see with the gunshots and how I created this Instagram tag and how to make it move. And that's really how simple it is, guys. Just go ahead and you want to pay attention to some timing uh, with the logos and everything. Then the, the next thing is obviously some keyframing. It will take a lot of time or just not. It depends on how accurate you want, you want uh, the final product to be. So if I play back the last part of the video. Five days. I don't know even in five days. I don't know even know like if that is healthy or not. Like in five days. I don't know even in five days. I don't know even. In five days, I don't know even know like in five days, I don't know even know like if that is healthy or not like that, you know, a short amount of time. So that's how amazing it looks guys. So this is basically how I created the Jake Paul intro. It is that simple. It is that straightforward. So right here I made uh, the actual Jake, Jake Paul image show up, you know, from the bottom in the corner. So I'm gonna also drag in a transparent image of Jake Paul, which is going to be this one. I'm gonna create a new video track, so I have all the freedom to place there, where, what, to place it wherever I want. So right now, first of all, we're going to make sure that Jake Paul is placed in the in the left uh, bottom corner. So click on Event uh, Pan Crop, and I'm going to place this guy right here in the corner then what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna make him appear from the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place a keyframe at the beginning right here so we're gonna place it right there that is out of the screen then we're gonna go ahead and place a keyframe right here and then we're gonna make him slide into the screen and i'm gonna also make him disappear so we go back to event pan crop stand right here uh, create a new keyframe and then at the bottom the last one you just want to go ahead and make him slide outside of the screen again so we're gonna place it right here as you can see right now Jake Paul is sitting in the screen as you can see right now this is how to make Jake Paul slide into the screen with the sound effects so that's how to do it guys this is how I created the Jake Paul intro if you guys want to see a part two make sure to let me know in the comments down below and let me know what kind of editing techniques you want me to explain to you thank you so much for watching until the end I want to thank you and I will see you guys obviously tomorrow with a brand new Twitch tutorial and in two hours for an extra Vegas tutorial as always. So I'll catch you guys in just two hours. Just Alex Halford.